The views and opinions expressed in this content are that of a continuously evolving nature and are subject to change as humanity evolves into higher states of awareness. Hi everyone, Lee again here from Next Level Awareness and in this video I want to talk about how our senses become very much enhanced as we transcend up the vibrational levels of awareness. And um, I've just ate some chips just then and uh, even plain things like chips now taste unbelievable uh, to me. Uh, and when I go out places I see people eating and when they're eating they're not, they're not fully tasting the food and sometimes if I'm eating next to them in the same place for instance I'll say something like the food here is amazing isn't it and you can see that look in their eye when you say that they forget to taste the food they're like uh, they have to think about it and uh, when you're on a higher vibrational frequency you don't have to think about these things anymore because your mind's not away from the present moment as much. Um, so when I say this, I can see the mind have to think about, oh yeah, I'm eating. Uh, does it taste good? And uh, the kind of, you see that look in their eye and the kind of like, well, yeah, it is actually, it's nice, isn't it? Whereas when you're on a higher vibrational level of awareness, everything's nice because you're fully in the moment, you're appreciating it the way it is, and you're kind of like um, just loving everything in life, okay? Not only your taste buds, um, a lot of people's smell gets better. Mine doesn't, by, by the way. My smell is pretty useless because when I was young, I kind of trained myself not to smell things. Uh, I don't know why. But your, your, your senses in your body, your, your physical senses become a lot more enhanced. Um, your vision kind of becomes more enhanced. But it's more about what you see pleases you more than what it did when you were younger. When you were younger, you would just walk down the street or down some some woods and you'd just think, well, it's just woods. But now you, you can walk down the street and you're like, in some woods and you're like, oh my God, these trees are amazing. Look at the sky. Can you hear all those leaves blowing in the wind? Listen to them birds. And you just kind of appreciate it all more. And you appreciate food more and you appreciate your physical senses more. Um, to the point where you can even like start touching yourself and feeling it and just loving it okay you can literally like massage yourself and close your eyes and just fully feel it uh, and it's just as good as if you go to a, a masseuse and pay like 50 dollars or 100 pounds whatever to get a massage you can focus when you're on a higher level of awareness and make anything that good okay like absolutely anything uh, when I'm driving my car, uh, instead of just driving my car, thinking about other things, sometimes I'll, I'll just literally feel the steering wheel. Um, imagine I'm on some kind of ride at an amusement park and just really enjoy the, the drive, okay? Like, really enjoy it. Um, I'll, do, I'll do crazy things, like I'll buy some binoculars and I'll go out and watch the birds with the binoculars um, as if I'm at a safari park. I'll do that. Like things like that so it doesn't matter where you are in time and space uh, you can still make anywhere or anything you're doing amazing when you're on a higher level of awareness and um, I don't quite understand how this works how you get to that level um, I think it's just basically finding the inner child in yourself again because when we were children we used to get excited about going places we used to uh, have an amazing days out if we were going somewhere, we'd look forward for a year just to go somewhere, like on a day trip somewhere, or a holiday. We'd look forward to it constantly. And it was the best thing in the world just to go out and explore a new place. Um, and we kind of lose all that when we when we become adults and going through our ego stages. Um, because the ego takes over that, you see. The ego uh, kind of makes you worry about, oh, what do I look like? Or um, what do I need to do next to get this, to get that? Uh, all your, 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 your drives of growing up start controlling you and then you forget to be in the present moment, you see. So once you overcome your ego and you go through the awakening, the dark night of the soul, whatever causes your awakening. With me, it was the dark night of the soul and it was uh, the use of cannabis. Cannabis really opened us up again to my child side and um, it made us appreciate everything a whole lot more again like I was a child. So that really opened things up again for us. Um, but yeah, before this stage, we all go through a depression stage. Uh, the depression stage is not very nice because you don't like anything, you don't look forward to anything. 
you uh, this can last years and years and years like it did with me it probably lasts about 10 years with me I was just depressed every day I didn't look forward to anything I was bored of the world uh, everything was just dull uh, there was nothing really exciting um, and the only thing that brought us out of that was the cannabis which I've explained in other videos but sometimes you just need something to push you out of that paradigm and if you're going to use something like cannabis that's fair enough you can use other things um, whatever you choose basically but but yeah so, 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 so eventually you'll come out of this depressive stage and then you'll start to see the world with whole new eyes especially if you've been through the dark night of the soul because if you've been through a really bad experience that forces you to really look at yourself internally uh, and try and find out why you've gone through that bad experience and you might blame other people you might blame other things in life but ultimately it's yourself and you'll realize that because of the bad experience it'll force you to realize the mistakes you made that led up to that bad experience okay uh, with me it was uh, ending a, a relationship ended with a partner and I was I was very unhappy because I was devastated that that could happen because I thought I was doing the right thing but afterwards because of all the pain I went through I realized I wasn't doing the right thing okay I was being too controlling I was um I was trying to make the relationship the way I wanted it to be my ego you see so the dark night of the soul kind of makes you be introspective and see all that because that's the reason it happens so things like this bring us into these new paradigms. Um, some people think it's possible to to reach these higher levels of awareness without bad experiences, but in my case, it, it wasn't. So I don't know if that's true. If that's true for any of you, let us know. Because um, to me, there's no way you can really appreciate things without losing them first or, or losing the ability to love them first and going through all these bad experiences. Um, that's just the way I think evolution works that's why it's really important to go through these bad experiences etc but if I'm wrong if anybody thinks I'm wrong with this let us know if you've managed to have this amazing life and really appreciate everything and go out and have fun every day and just milk life for everything it, it's it's got or this simulation whatever you want to call it uh, without going through bad experiences let us know and tell us how you did that because I'd love to know how to do that uh, without having to go through the bad because um, there's a lot of people out there who are very rich but they're very miserable you see because in order to be happy you have to lose something and then get it back again you see because you, you never know what you've you've got until you lose it and this is how evolution works it's like a paradox everything is everything is it serves double duty and that's how we learn in this reality and uh, transcend up the levels of awareness and then everything starts to become like your child again you see but it's actually better than being a child because now you've got all the knowledge of the universe all the knowledge of the world as well as being a child so you can use that childlike mentality to to really milk everything that this simulation has to offer and um, a lot of this is all done internally you don't need the external as much anymore it's nice to have nice cars and it's nice to to have money etc but even if you've got no money, you can still do this, you see? Because you there's nothing stopping you um, get, buying a bus pass, going on the bus every day. Even the bus ride can be an adventure. Even a train journey can be an adventure, you see? And if you if you do that, it's probably more of an adventure than have, driving around in a car. Because in a car, it's just you and the car. Whereas if you go on a bus, it's you with lots of people, lots of things you're looking at out the window. You're not having to focus on driving. Um... There's, there's lots of things could happen strangers could get on the bus and start talking to you because uh, everyone around you is there for a specific reason i've said this in other videos wherever you are whoever's around you is there for a specific reason so if you start a conversation with them you'll realize why they're there because they're there to teach you something and you're there to teach them something as well and you can have a great conversation and enjoy it at the same time you see so so, so sometimes going out your comfort zone, just just going on the bus, going on the the trams or the, the what is it in America? The um, well, it's the same. It's it's buses and trains, isn't it, in America as well? So, so sometimes doing that really can be a lot more fun than driving. So you don't necessarily need money to do this, okay? As long as you've got enough in your in your, in your pockets to buy something to eat, uh, get a nice coffee, okay? Coffee is very good for this because coffee uh, kind of 
is a Kickstarter. It puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Well, it does with me anyway, but I'm probably addicted to coffee, but that's fine. It's nice to have something to um, to enhance your mood. Um, but yeah, that's what happens when you increase your levels of awareness, guys. And uh, a lot of you are probably already on this level. If you're not, then you will be soon because it happens to everyone eventually. And, uh, and life just becomes magical um it becomes like being a child again uh i'm just out now in the car i've had something to eat i fully tasted it it was just all it was was some chips with some curry sauce and i absolutely loved it it was like amazing experience uh, you don't have to go to a five star restaurant um, and spend a hundred pounds just just to to enjoy food you can enjoy any food when you're on this level of awareness you see because you appreciate everything um, so now I'm going to go out for a walk in a local park. I'm going to really experience the the cold air going on my face. I'm going to experience the trees. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to breathe, meditate, uh, fully listen to all the sounds around us, relax myself, and just really take in the environment or this lovely simulation that's being created by our consciousness for our own entertainment and to learn how to appreciate things better which is what we're here for on this physical plane um, to learn lessons and the only lessons we're learning is to find yourself more and when you find yourself more that's when it, you realize everything's internal and you can create the reality you want based on your thoughts and your beliefs and my belief in this video is uh, you can do this anywhere anytime uh, and when you get to this level everything's just an adventure so that's it guys Leave your comments, tell us what you think of that, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.